All right, now we are going to add transitions between each of our actions here. In order to do that, you hit this Add Transition button. You're going to select the origin by hitting one state action, and then selecting the destination by hitting the other. This will create an empty transition between your actions. And I'm just going to quickly link all of these up between here. Okay. So now I have my transitions, as you can see, between each of my actions. We're going to and we're going to begin populating them with what's necessary. Between state zero and state one, it's fine as is. Even if it's empty, we'll just move forward and we're okay with that. Between state one and state two, though, we want actions to take place, in this case, an utterance. So I'm going to select my transition, and you can see which one it is when it's saying state zero to state two here. We're going to make an utterance. We're going to select that from the drop down and hit create. So we're going to give a name, or we're going to give a title to this. Um, I'm just going to name it inquiry1, and then I'm going to hit edit utterance. Now what we're able to type in here is whatever utterances we feel would be best used to resolve this situation, or what we are looking for the user to say. So we go, what is the problem, would be one. And I can add as many of these as I like. So for example, what is the matter, guys? Do you think I can help? Is there an argument? Once you've made these, just hit save. If you look here, you can see that they're all there. And our transition is updated to say it's an utterance. Next, we are going to create another one here. And I'm just going to name this one assertion. You are being extremely rude. That is rude to say. Please stop. Oh. That is inappropriate. All those examples. So just as a reminder, what has happened here is we have walked in on a conversation between two coworkers where one has said, I think you're discriminating based on my background. The other responds, I most certainly am not. Um, and asks you, how would you intervene? In our first one, we have them saying, we have you as the user saying, is there an argument? Do you think I can help? What's the matter, guys? Or what's the problem? In order to advance to the next section, in which one of the characters in there responds with, none of your business, pal. The response to that is, that is inappropriate. Please stop. That is rude to say, you are being extremely rude. Then we have that same colleague saying, why is everyone so nosy around here? Why don't you take a hike? To which we are going to allow the user to say another thing. Um, in this case, I would go with, would you like me to leave? Where we are addressing the other coworker where this conversation is about. Uh, addressing coworker. Okay, so you can see this is an addressing coworker. We can add as many as you want, but I'm just going to add the one. To which he responds, actually, I think you should stay. I'd like a third party to be present. And for our last one, we're going to create one more utterance. And I'm going to name this one resolution. And we're just going to go with we should resolve this. Are. Stop arguing. All those appropriate responses. Okay, and with this, we have made all of our transitions between each of these. Now, if you wanted to, you absolutely can do this, which is rename all of these state actions to be more legible so that at a glance you can understand what's happening here. By doing that, you can either click here where you can rename the state action. So I'm going to rename this from state zero to something more helpful, such as introduction. Or you can type up here if this is where you prefer. OK, this one is going to name conversation one. Oops. 
Conversation two. Conversation one. Conversation three. Conversation four. And resolution. And that completes how I would author my transitions and the state actions in between them.